Welcome to our Da Vinci Open House. We're excited about having the Da Vinci Surgical Robot at Shands Lakeshore Regional Medical Center and Dr. Joseph Charles is demonstrating the Da Vinci surgical process. Dr. Charles is our first physician to train on the Da Vinci. We're really excited about our other surgeons getting their training as well. So one of, one of the terms that's used for this is robotic surgery. The Da Vinci kind of takes laparoscopic surgery to the next level and some patients that weren't candidates for um, traditional laparoscopic surgery can actually have Da Vinci laparoscopic surgery. So it certainly would allow more patients um, that option at minimally invasive surgery. What makes robotic surgery different is, is by just using it's small incisions, just big enough to allow for these different arms, robotic arms to go in you can do a lot more without actually having to provide a big incision. These robotic arms actually act as a human arm would. It can flex, it can turn this way and that way, and so now you can do a whole lot more things that you would do naturally with your own hands with, with a robotic instrument. So the patient is put on the table and then we put um, the, these uh, arms in using the very small incisions what that does is when it's time for recovery, you're recovering from four or five very small incisions instead of one large incision. As a matter of fact, most of pain with surgery comes from the incision that you make to open up and get inside. Once we have the arms inside, then the, the surgeon can now view everything from a screen. And actually this is the, the, the console that the physician is at. But the physician is really good because you actually have a three-dimensional view. So what you see there is two-dimensional, but I think you guys will get a chance to look inside. But you will see when you look, you can actually get a sense of the depth of tissue, how far apart things are from each other, and it makes it operating very easy, which is good for the patient because you tend to do things more precisely. As the surgeon watches, um, every move that the surgeon makes with his hand. So if I go like this, the robotic arm does the same thing just like this. If I open up my fingers like this to grab something, the robotic arm opens up its grasp to do the same thing that I do. Because of the visibility and the way this works, a, a whole group of patients normally that would have to have an open no longer have to do that. Um, I went to a couple places, one of them is South Carolina, and the doctors there said they started in 2006, no, 2007, by 2009, they did not do anybody, anybody opening them up. One of the cliches in medicine is uh, minimally invasive surgery transferred the pain of surgery from the patient to the surgeon, and what Da Vinci tries to do is sort of bring that back to, so you can have more patients, like Dr. Charles said, experience minimally invasive surgery. The view that you have in here is, um, is very, very impressive because it's a, it's a three-dimensional view. So now, first, I have control of both instruments now. And as you can see, all I'm doing is moving my wrist and my hands in a, just a very normal fashion, and it's responding. So if I bring my wrist in, it's, it's actually bringing this instrument. I don't know how well you guys can see, but it can turn any way that I turn the instrumentation. So if I wanted to go down and pick something up, I would grab that, I can now transfer it over to this one, release it, bring it, and if I want to set it right down there, it's now right there. And I want to get a broad view of where I am, what's going on, I can do that. I can go over to the left side, I can go over to the right side. Now what you see on the screen is what I'm looking at. You're seeing the same thing that I see. Let, let me see if I can put my fingers like this. Yep. Yep. It was, it looks, when you're far away, it looks like it's going to be easy until you get over there and you try to start moving it around. But after, after a while, you can, you definitely got used to it and it was, it was a little easier, but it's uh, not as easy as it looks. I feel like taking a lot of arteries off. Lake City didn't have one. You'd have to go to Gainesville, Jacksonville, some other surrounding areas. So now we're going to get a lot of people come to Lake City to take advantage of this machine, which will be a really good thing for us. The big thing you hear me say this a lot is the patient, the patient, the patient, because most of what we do in medicine is because of the patient. And if we can do things to make the patient's experience um, with whatever surgery they have better, that's very important. I talked with a surgeon who was here from Kentucky on Monday. He says he sends most of his hysterectomy patients home the same day. They do the surgery in the morning, they go upstairs, 
wait a while, make sure everything is fine, and they go home. And that's unheard of if you do an open case. When you open up, you're in a hospital for two or three days. Um, and when these people go home, they can go back to work in much, much less time. So going back to work with a normal hysterectomy and you do it open, we're talking four to six weeks recovery, some people eight weeks. With this, we're talking in the neighborhood of two weeks and depending on what you do at work, it may be less than that. I'm very glad that this hospital now has this. I think it'll be a great thing for our community and I'm looking forward to use this a whole, whole lot. <laughs> a whole lot.